There's a way to get maximum results from your workouts in less time than a standard exercise program. Cutting your workout time in half can be a matter of intensity. Lorene Catola shows us how to look good and feel great. Lorene? Well, Joe, it's called high intensity interval training, and it's about balancing going all out with less intense intervals. And here to tell us more about this is personal trainer Wendy Holmes. Thanks for joining us, Wendy. Thanks for having me today. So, okay, this high intensity interval training, it sounds um, very appealing to people who don't have a lot of time and you hear, oh, just do 10 minutes a day. Does it work? Well, it does work, but there's a, there's a couple things. One is it's not gonna be for everybody. It's such high intensity that you really want the more maybe elite athlete or the person who's been training regularly needs a little, little kick. And as you can imagine, we wish it could be just 10 minutes a day, but that type of training, will is it, it works great with a really well-rounded program. So not just this type of training alone, but to incorporate with other forms of exercise, absolutely. Now, there are a few types of high intensity interval training. Absolutely. You might start hearing a term called Tabata style mm -hmm. method. Sounds fancy. Uh, it does sound fancy and it's quick and it's hard. And it's more like it has to do with the cycles, how long you're going to do the actual exercise. So you kind of go all out for 20 seconds and then you completely rest for 10. And the, I mean, if you think about that, that's 30 seconds and then you're just going to keep repeating that for I think maybe six to eight cycles. So you're talking like maybe eight minutes, six to eight minutes. Not very, I mean, not very long, but very intense for the amount of time that you're doing it. Let's do one of the okay. exercises okay. you might do with that exercise. So let's do squat, jump. So we're gonna go down, squat, and jump up, squat, and jump, squat, and jump. So imagine if we were doing that for 20 seconds, rest, and then we would pick maybe another type of exercise to go along with it. That's kind of the style and technique that you use there. And because that one is so intense, that really is for super fit people. Yes, definitely your more elite athlete, the one who's been well-trained, has great body awareness, that type of thing. Now, there is another method, the little method, that's a little less intense. Yeah, it, I, think, I think this one has a little playing room with it. You could maybe use a bike or a treadmill and, and not really using these, maybe, maybe more aerobic in nature for the little method. So let's say you're on the treadmill and you could really go all out for 60 seconds. Maybe you can't run 10 minutes like that, but do it for a minute. Then you pull back maybe 75 seconds. Uh, you rest and go a little bit slower. You could even walk or a slow jog and then push to go hard again. But that does incorporate some of the aerobic, just it's not enough. Exactly, and, and you could you could extend that out maybe more like the 20 and 30 minutes with that type of training. Um, now, there's another method that's out there that's been around for a long time. Uh, plyometrics, yes. you've heard that term. Again, when you, when you get into some plyometrics, what the, that type of training is more anaerobic in nature, meaning it's so intense and so hard, it's gonna use what the muscle, you know, what the muscle can supply right there on the spot. Not aerobic in nature, where it's gonna require the heart and the blood and the muscles to work differently. But let's do another one. Let's try uh, running lunges and see how that goes. So let's go, we're gonna literally lunge and keep lunging, lunge, so imagine right. it would be hard to do that for 30 minutes, right? right? So again, this is just a type of training. You could do running lunges and then move into abdominal crunches and do this type of uh, back and forth training interval anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes depending on what your body and, and, and heart can handle at that time. Okay, but what it does is it exhausts the muscle. Ex it, yeah, so it's, it's exhausted, and that's because it, you know, it's so intense that the muscle is gonna fatigue quickly. And so that's why, and then, it's, then you're done. Like it's not gonna keep letting you do it over and over. So that's why they're short and sweet. Okay, and a short great way to and sweet, <laughs> but uh, probably too good to be true if you think you can get fit in four minutes a day. Right, going to remember, well-rounded program. So just part of it, it could definitely be part of your training, but not, not the only thing you can do. Okay, thanks Wendy. And thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time with more ways to look good and feel great.